And it is Sunday night, and happy St. Patrick's happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome in, happy welcome Sunday. in. Are we unmuted? Happy St. Are, Day. We, are we, are we, lights are on, sounds are off. I think we're good. We got, all right. Testing, that testing. Testing that's one, two, three. Can you hear us? Can you see us? I think we got, uh, I think we're set up here. I think we're good to go. Uh, we have our Irish background tonight. Uh, we have our, our, our Irish attire. We're wearing our green. Mm -hmm. And, um, no, these are not just frames. I can't see anymore. So now you get to see uh, a new side of old Brian. <laughs> uh, and speaking of which, uh, I am Brian. This is Julie. This is our weekly uh, crazy live show that we do here on Sunday nights on How We Cruise. Uh, thank you for joining us where we try to have a little bit of fun, uh, share some information. Uh, please participate in the chat. Uh, say hello to everybody. And um Share what you know, because we definitely don't know everything, but we want to talk about it. So um, a lot of people coming in tonight. I guess it's not a big night at the bars. Or people are logging in from the bars. I hope you're logging <laughs> in from the bars. That would be fantastic. That would be just have everybody huddled around the phone sitting at the bar. That would be uh, that'd be amazing. So um, Shana says the glasses too. Yes, the glasses here. Um, what do you got tonight? Well. We have a lot of stuff tonight. We have a lot of stuff tonight. I mean, we're talking, well, so, okay, so our topic tonight is safety. Safety has been a really big topic in our community lately, uh, specifically in the Caribbean and Mexico, and we've heard wordings all over the place about Nassau, Haiti, Jamaica. So the big news this week uh, is... If you have any cruises that are going to Haiti, specifically Labadee on Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean has announced that they are temporarily suspending uh, going to Labadee for the safety yes. reasons that are going on there. Now, if you don't know what where Labadee is, Labadee is a, a, it's on the island of Haiti. And Haiti and the Dominican Republic are the same mass of land or same island in the water. Just cut in half. <laughs> yes, there is a border. Uh, they are two separate countries, and Labadee is part of Haiti. It is gated off in a private beach just for Royal Caribbean to visit. Sean, I see what you did there. So, um, but um, <laughs> but yeah. So there. if you're if you're scheduled to go on our group cruise in November, one of our stops is supposed to be Labadee. So we're hoping this thing kind of fizzles out by then. Uh, but if not, I am certain that Royal Caribbean will either find someplace else to take us. Or we will have a fantastic sea day instead. So uh, that is um, that is that. So we're going to talk That's a little bit about, about safety tonight. But before we get into that, we do want to say hello to everybody. We got a lot of people here in the chat, so we we do want to welcome everybody in. And uh, let's just see who we have okay. here. Uh, a great big oh, thank you, Liz. Liz. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you so much. Uh, you, you did not have to do that. We sincerely appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for, uh, and uh, if you guys haven't checked out their channel yet, um, that's the Carnival Cruise Addicts. They're uh, gaining some strength. They had a live stream earlier today. So yeah, it was fun um, watching you guys. <laughs> they're, they're, they're building their channel. So, so stop over and, and give them a check out. And if they're, if you're so inclined, uh, give them a like or a subscribe or something yes, like that. Yes, so, for sure. Uh, but we do have a lot of people in the chat here. Shana was first. So hello, Shana. How are you? Uh, she, uh, Cruise Nuts. Mike and uh, Tracy came in right after you. Good to see you. Uh, Mom's always here with you. Hi, Mom. How are you? Uh, let's see who else. Kathy Curry's in the house. Fire Spire. We got Sean with us tonight. Sean, uh, thank you for taking time away from Irish Christmas to celebrate with us. We, we appreciate <laughs> you. Um, Kevin Brubaker in the house. And Kevin. I said it before. Kevin was with us on a taxi ride in in, in Cozumel. Now yeah. that was a safer one, and we did everything right, and we followed all the. Sound. I think the sound is lagging. It's a little, a little <laughs> lag, but thank you, Liz. We appreciate you. Um, <laughs> but we did everything right on that one. We, we went with a certified vendor. Uh, I think the the shadiest person in that taxi may have been either Kevin or myself. So uh, that was that was that was safe. Well, how do we know it was coming? Yes, <laughs> um, that was a great day. What a great yes, day. Yes, okay. Fun. Um, we have Alice with us, Lee. Good to see you. Uh, Jay is with us. Uh, Jay is coming with us in November as well, so pay attention. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, Fats and Trey have joined us. Another another Sunday live stream. Uh, so yes, you guys um, looked awesome today. Yes. By the way, they were all nice. decked out and all their 
Irish gear and greens and glasses. Richard and Lori are here with us, uh, joining us. Uh, also, they had out like a full bar too. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you keep saying your hellos, but actually, the first thing I ch I, I I haven't said hello to anybody in a couple of minutes because I was typing out. I don't know if you want to put this up. Well, um, I, we did promise, uh, at least I think on, on some of the posts there, some Irish drinks. Well, so. in honor of St. Patrick's Day. You want to share no, your no, recipe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, the, I have two recipes tonight. Um, this is one that we just had to try. And this is the Lucky Leprechaun. So, Brian, you want to post that? I posted the recipe right there in the chat. So that way people can see. Um, it oh. is, yeah, there you go, Lucky Leprechaun. Really Lucky Leprechaun. Uh, it's vodka, oh, it pineapple juice, and blue carousel. And I'm going to tell you, just a splash of blue carousel. If you want it light green and more, of course, blue carousel you put in. The darker it's going to be because you know it's pretty strong stuff uh this is that's your primary colors we did taste we tasted the one all the factories right by us so. <laughs> we tasted one earlier today um and i kind of remade it with the little last bit of blue carousel oh i should have this up more that was in there so you can see that it's nice light green that because the first time we made it was and this this version doesn't have any vodka in it it's just the final juice because um it was good it's a little it, it's on the sweeter end mm -hmm. and if you put it in a drop of blue food coloring you can use orange juice or the pineapple juice you can make this a, a virgin cocktail as well a mocktail great for those of you who do not want the alcohol so our lucky leprechaun yes so in honor of st patrick's day what we will do is uh, mm. i have my jam my jameson tonight we went, we went jameson so we'll, okay, raise, well, we'll raise our glass uh to our cruise to our cruise community we are, we, we we love you all uh, thank you all for, for joining us and, and just coming on this ride with us. So to you, uh, there are good ships and there are wood ships, ships that set the sea, but the best ships are friendships and may they always be. Probably should have memorized that, but that was, that's a good one. I like that. One. That one came from our cruise community. So that one, that one's not mine. Mm -hmm. All right, so the reason I'm not drinking the other one is because I switched over to this beautiful uh, Irish martini here. And I will start typing the uh, recipe to that in the chat as you can well, say hello to everybody. But saying guys, hello. this is good. I'm just saying hello to everybody because we do have some important mm. things to talk we about. We have a tonight. great topic tonight. Important, important things. Slanche, Sean, Slanche. Slanche, Shana. Uh, uh, let's see here. I lost my space. Oh, Eddie's here. Eddie's in the house. Eddie Lugo in the house. Uh, Tina Rick Spencer here. Good to see you guys. Who else do we have? Tony Diaz. Thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, loving seeing the pictures you're posting. Uh, beautiful, beautiful family you have there. Uh, Jennifer from Embarkation Nations here. Good to see you. Uh, traveling with children as well. Uh, we got to talk. Uh, I think you guys want to know what's going on in july but we'll talk about that later uh sugar hello sweetheart good to see you uh liz is here we've said hello to you before thank you so much for the super chat that's uh very much reached. alan's here uh amanda's here um and it looks like she's got her name changed back so <laughs> on that. Uh, that, was, that was fun uh z show is here good to see you z, hey, z. uh we said hi to well. jay uh da, 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 kevin i think we got everybody here so uh oh matt's here uh good to see you matt uh keep keep people keep coming in will g well will thank you g, how's your cruise are you back i think you're back i think you're back thank you so How? much will g much 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 awesome awesome that, pictures sir. awesome pictures shared um, on our community page there's been a lot of stuff uh, sharing and going on there. So guys, if you're not already mm -hmm. checked out uh, a part of our community page, go on Facebook. It's how we cruise community page. Mm -hmm. And, um, at least and at very least just watch what people are posting, but we hope that you join in too. And, and will give me a, give me a thumbs up if you agree or a thumbs down if you disagree, but will is a great example right now of jumping on some, you know, you don't have to jump on the icon. You don't have to jump on the Jubilee. You don't have to jump on the Viva. You can find an older ship with a fantastic itinerary and get a great deal on it. And you can go to some very, very beautiful places. So, and have it um, all right. So okay. Julie's got her other yep. recipe. We'll other share recipe. that and then we'll jump into our safety. Yes, stuff. that sounds so good. That's there's good. your, there's your other so recipe. I'm like, I, I, it looks weird on the camera. It doesn't look at all like tilted when I hold it up, but it looks tilted on the screen anyway. Because the camera, this is the Irish Vint Martini. 
Yeah, it is two parts vodka, one part uh, Bailey's uh, vanilla. Oh, it, there's a typo there. I'm sorry, guys. It's not mint. It's not vanilla what? mint shake. Well, a mint so a mink shake might be <laughs> interesting. Uh, might be a little furrier. Um, burns uh, a little bit. I think I would pass down. on that one. I think I would pass on that one. And okay. um, no sponsorship here, but I will. This was just fun because something no, off that I no should sponsor. If you know somebody who'd like to sponsor this video, please give them our phone numbers or our email addresses because. Uh, Check this out. Because I, I saw cool. this. I saw this. I don't really go for super sweet um, and uh, very often and uh, or creamy, but every once in a while, and I saw this and I had to try it. So uh, yeah, I probably didn't pick it up for me. So I just, I just had it tonight for the first time to taste it and it's really good. So yeah. I recommend giving you a shot. All right. Well, we've got our drinks. We've got our crew here. We've got all of our all of our crew yeah. friends here. So let's ready. Let's I'm ready. Talk let's go. Let's a little this. bit about port safety. It's come up. So, what prompted us to talk about this um, is, and, well, hold on, Fats and Trey. They they it's all it's almost like we paid them for this. So she they said, when is your group trip in November? So. Our group cruise in November is on the Freedom of the Seas. It's November 3rd, and it, it leaves in 231 days. Mm -hmm. So you have plenty of time to plan, and you can get your laundry all packed up and everything like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is going, as of now, to Labadee, Grand Cayman, and Falmouth, Jamaica. Yes. From Fort Lauderdale. Now, you just said as Labadee and Grand Cayman, uh, or, and, and Grand Cayman, which Grand Cayman is... Uh, pretty darn safe place to visit right now but Labadee Haiti and Falmouth Jamaica are high very high on the, the advised travel advisory lists so what does that mean and I mean November is a ways away we have no idea what's going to happen between then and now but this is a hot topic all the time because there's always somewhere there's always a travel advisory list and we've learned a lot even just preparing for this discussion tonight. So. Right. So, I mean. But going back to that trip, though, whether or not safety is not going to be a concern because we know that the, the ship will take care of us. We will not go to ports that are not safe or we will just choose to not get off the ship if we are in a place that we do not feel comfortable. With. Well, so or, on or, that, or I'll be with us anyway. So it, on fine. that note. We bring anybody who wants to come. Team. Come on. Join, join us. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. It leaves out of Fort Lauderdale and. November third through the ninth. So we got we got Suge in the house. Marty's hey, here. Uh, Cheesy Cheetos joined us, and L O L O L O Jamie from Sharon Hi. at Sea Travel, fresh back from the icon. Good friends, seas. welcome home, guys. Uh, it looks like you guys had a good time and enjoying watching all the stuff that you're putting out. So, so thanks, thanks for jumping in tonight. To bring everybody up to speed on what kind of prompted this is, in case you didn't know. There's a little thingy thing going on down in Haiti right now, and it's not exactly super safe. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, some of the rival gangs, because of the political unrest down there and some issues happening there, uh, broke out like 4,000-something prisoners from, from the two main prisons in Port-au-Prince. They kind of like took over an airport. They're like really violent. They're killing people. It's 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 not a it's good not place a, to go on a vacation place. right now. Um, so now the State Department. That's nowhere near Labadee. Just so you know, it is a good like six hours away. Seven. Okay, but six it, maybe. It, away it's I not. It, but like, there's civil unrest. It, it's not. It's good. not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's and our prayers and our thoughts are are with the Haitians, and the Haitian community, and we hope that everything. We hope gets, it all gets resolved we hope uh, it all soon, soon, because um, some really amazing, I have some very, very good friends that are from Haiti, um, born and raised, and uh, so we're, our thoughts and prayers are with you. So earlier this month, the State Department issued a travel advisory, so I started looking some of these up today, and I found, actually, on the State Department's website, some really interesting information, uh, so I wanted to share that, but before I share that... Um, <laughs> Sean says, don't forget about the cannibal gangs. We weren't going to mention the cannibal gangs, Sean, because, you know, ultimately we are travel agents and we do want people to travel, but maybe we won't <laughs> send you to Haiti this time around. Um, so Larry's in the house. Good to see you. Diamond Dave is here. Good to see you. So together we travel is doing this as well. Um, let's see. Kevin says it's a step worse than uh, when he melted Julie's Tupperware in the dishwasher. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see here. So let's. Here's what we're gonna do for you. We're gonna give you a live, live. I gotta. On, yeah. Gotta, so. Hold on. I gotta. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Are we ready. All right. Everyone, cross your fingers and raise your glass. The technology behaves itself. Right, wait. Are you sure you have that in the right? No, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. Okay. Woo! There okay. we go. Right. So, if you haven't been, uh, the U.S. State Department has a website. Uh, it's probably where you went to go get your passport, which we highly recommend doing. That's the starting place for that. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if if you want to know what's going on in the world, what the, i got to scroll over here. This is going to be challenging. i got to look here and scroll here. So this is the travel advisories. Now what the State Department does is they recognize, you're going to put your glasses on. i got to put my glasses on, on now, yeah. All right. We're now be. watching two old people. Here we go. Um, <laughs> So what these travel advisories are is for all, so the United Nations recognizes 211 countries on this website. Uh, and what they do is they have a travel advisory for every single nation. And they raise, they, they, they list those advisories from level one all the way up to level four. So as you can see on the list here, oops, where's my mouse? There we go. So level one is exercise normal precautions. And at the end of this video, we'll get towards the end, we'll talk about some normal precautions and you know like i said this is a community so drop your best tips in the chat uh for what you think are good tips for keeping people safe while they're traveling uh level one is exercise normal precautions level two is where they want you to exercise some increased caution that means there's something going on in that country that maybe there's some high crime maybe there's some uh something going on there that you want to just be a little bit extra cautious of but what we can do is we can sort these here and we can see the bad ones um so level level three oh hold on can you go up there because okay i'm oh, sorry talk okay. about level three well i was going to say at the very top i noticed other but let's go through the levels first and then we'll talk about what uh, other is I bought, oh phone. i'm sorry uh -huh, you know you're so organized he's so organized all right keep going <laughs> yeah kev burma darn it they were on my list too um but level three means reconsider travel. And that's where Jamaica just popped into. And so the level three travel advisory for Jamaica is due to the increased crime in and around Kingston. So now this is where it's important to actually read these advisories. So there are some areas in Jamaica that, you know, you kind of want to avoid, but most of Jamaica is still pretty safe where the ships dock in Falmouth or in Montego Bay, or if you're flying into Ocho Rios or coming in and you want a vacation in the grill, a lot of those places are, they're, they're safe. I mean, there are reports of a lot of sex assaults and things like that at some of the all-inclusive resorts. But as long as you follow some of the tips that we're going to give you towards the end of this video, and you're aware of your surroundings, that's the biggest, biggest piece of advice. We yes, absolutely. Um, those are good. But let's talk a minute about these level fours. So these level fours, uh, they say these are new they, and it gives you the date of the last advisory too. So you can see here that uh, we'll just go right down to Haiti and we'll click on Haiti and we'll bring up Haiti. Uh, so you can see right here, um, it gives you the reasons. So you can highlight right over these things here and it says um, widespread crime or, or violent violent stuff civil unrest which is what we just talked about with those that, that prison break uh there's a health crisis there too and one of the things that they talk about in these is if there's poor one of these travel advisories can come up if there's poor health coverage in that country or hospitals you wouldn't want to trust or things like that and then of course uh the case stands for kidnapping and hostages so it is a thing um it's not not a thing. It's a very low percentage, but it does happen. And I, I think uh, I know your mom's in the chat. She said she used to uh, travel internationally, and, and there were some precautions yeah. taken when she was traveling. She she um, used to travel internationally a lot, and there were times that she had to go to places that were that had a very high travel advisory warning. Mm -hmm. And um, her company exercised a lot of. Uh, assistance with making sure that she was safe but like you know i think there's always that uh added you know concern yeah so. but the one thing to point out on this here is it, it tells you kind of what's going on in, in the country right now it gives you some tips uh it tells you <laughs> if you decide to travel to haiti it basically says here if you decide to travel to haiti you are on your own uh but basically some of this says you know 
if you need to be evacuated from this country, um, you're kind of on your own. There are some uh, countries where they issue advisories that they say, if you get need to be evacuated, the U.S. government will get you out of there, uh, but it's at your own cost. Uh, they'll get you out, but you owe them money for getting you out of there. So um, a lot of this advice is good here. Um, but um, one of the things that we also learned, and it's not on, is it on this page? Yes, it is right here. So down here, there's a thing called the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. And you can click on that. You can fill out your information, including your passport number. And when you're traveling, you'll be put on a list that's sent over to the embassy to let them know that you are in country. So if, God forbid, something goes wrong, they know you're there. Um, you can put emergency contact information in there. So if, God forbid, something happens, they'll let your emergency contact information know. Um, but if you're anything like me, scrolling through this, and, and y'all know I love my spreadsheets, but if you're anything like me, um, all this stuff's great, uh, but pictures speak a thousand words. So I'm just going to click right over here and they do this whole thing in like a map. So you asked about the other, right? Yeah. So other, um, well, a if whole you go, country doesn't have to have Can you click same. back on that list real quick? Go yes. to the top of the page real quick. Let's show everybody, um, where those, they were. So right at the top there, you see other. So Mexico is a great example. What the heck does other mean? So what other actually means is that there's multiple places that may have different levels of warnings uh, because it is a rather large country. Yeah. So if you look at where all the typical cruise ports are, where your Cozumel and your on uh, your Cancun, uh, or if you're coming down the West Coast, your Baja Sur. Um, You'll see that those are in the the level two, not the level three. I clicked on the one right here. That's why that. Yeah. But if we go over here to this map, um, you can kind of see. And I'm going to move my mouse over. So apologize like, for not looking at the screen here. I why don't you Why don't you make that bigger? Get rid of us, and then you can kind of show people how you can zoom around, you can scroll, you can rotate. Okay, yeah. We won't spend too much time on this, guys, but we did like this information and wanted to share it with you guys because we thought it was it's helpful. So you can see this area in the middle here, like by Mexico City. Uh, that's bad. Like we don't we're not going to go there. Uh, that's not even good. I know uh, some people like to travel to Mazatlan. Not recommended right now. That's on the <clears throat> do not travel list. Uh, but if you look over here, you can just scroll right over here. Look, we'll just roll right out here and you can zoom right in here. So if you've ever been to Progreso, uh, you're in a totally safe reason. They don't even have a travel advisory there at all. Uh, Cancun, Cozumel, that whole area right there. Uh, but if you look over here. You notice of, that is, they say exercise increased caution. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's level two. That's, that's. Um, yeah. So, and you can see the, the, the legend over on the side. It tells, it tells you what everything means. And if you scroll all the way over. There we go. Yeah. Right over here. Well, you can see that. Jamaica is a reconsidered travel. And then there, right there, you see Haiti. Haiti right now is do not travel. They are advising us not to travel there. Uh, and the Dominican Republic, which interestingly, it's the same mass. There is a border there. That is in exercise increased caution. What I thought was most interesting uh, was even countries down here, like Trinidad and Tobago, um, they had a uh, reconsidered travel. So, I mean, we just came back from Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao a couple months ago, and you can kind of look there. Uh, those are uh, some of the safer islands right there. You can kind of see not even any kind of travel advisory there. But if you scroll just a little bit down there, uh, Venezuela is a no-go. Uh, do not go to Venezuela right now. That is definitely not where you want to be hanging out. So it's... Uh, So let's see here. But even okay. in. So, Brian, what does exercise increased caution even mean? Why don't you bring, we can bring us back. And I don't know if you want to keep scrolling or whatever, but. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, where's my mouse? <laughs> this is what happens. It's down there. There we go. So we'll go there. Bring us back. You want to get rid of the map? Yeah, I mean, okay. unless you have a reason to keep scrolling, oh, we should we'll just go. We'll just, so there, there you go. go. So um, basically, okay. all that means is if you if you if you're traveling one of these places, you got to be you got to be kind of aware of what's going on. Um, so definitely use that step thing. Uh, looks like Chris Cram has joined us. Hey, Chris, how are you? My eyes were over here, so thank you for coming in. Um, but 
if you follow that step bro you fill that 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 step thing out you'll get the advisories on your phone um now you want to start being very cautious of these specific areas but you always want to exercise some good caution so um start throwing them in the chat what are, what are your what are your yeah, what do you guys tips? Think? So, I, I noticed um uh, i think if you want to start clicking on some of them oh yeah i well, um, got some other stuff on the screen so right here we have a risk right here uh mom says there's a risk of kidnapping americans are valuable yeah so one of the things that's in these advisories it says is that they will do i mean a lot of these are are underdeveloped countries they're the poorer countries and kidnapping is for the for the money they would they want to yeah. they want to get the money. hey mary ellen mary ellen has joined us oh there's mary ellen, Hello, she, mary uh, ellen. how are you there you go she's on the jubilee Woohoo! so thank you for joining us yeah. so what what else does exercise caution mean Well, let's talk about some of the things. Let's talk about some of those things. Well, what are some of the things that you would think of to actually, I mean, number one, you want to be aware of your surroundings. So I, I, I remember a couple months ago uh, when that first um, travel advisory came out for Nassau and all the cruise lines were kind of freaking out a little bit because they were talking about a place in Nassau called Over the Hill. Now, over the hill, if you're familiar with Nassau at all, is south of Shirley Street. So if you're in the cruise port of Nassau, there's not really much reason to be going down there. Um, if if you want to well, explore the Nassau's local... changed a lot, too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, before they rebuilt the port, it was um, just walk out of the gates and you were pretty much in Nassau and you know experiencing just nassau itself there are ports that are being built up that are are gated and still in the port area and i think there's some important safety tips there too because first of all being inside the port area does not mean you don't ex exercise caution anywhere you are you always need to be on guard and just be aware that you're just not home just like when tourists come to visit us uh, we go to visit them. Like, I think that you're vulnerable because you're in a place that's not home. So if you want to be safe, but you still want to explore the area, I mean, number one, uh, mom says, I keep copies of my passports. So what we always do, we always get, we both have, we have passports and we have the passport cards. I love the so passport cards. If you're in the States, if you, mm -hmm. if you are a U.S. citizen and you have a passport, consider getting a passport card as well. It's only good for um, Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean, and, you know, you can't fly with it. You can't use it. Uh, or I mean, internationally, like to go over to like Europe or anything. You can't use it as a passport, but it's a great added. Thing. Uh, so yeah. Richard had a question, actually. So before I continue this, he said, Haiti is a serious issue right now. But how often are places safe yet under some kind of warning by the State Department? Absolutely. That's exactly that's what we're talking point, about. That's a great point, Richard. So I, I actually, because I did a spreadsheet. No. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, Every so time. that list, uh, if you look at it right now, um uh, we're, we're going with live information right here um <laughs> there and if you're watching on the replay guys check out these websites you can find this information uh this is current as of today you know, there are currently 19 countries on that list uh so haiti plus 18 others uh that the u.s state department says are do not travel um now if we kind of change that and we got rid of that and we put this in here we did that we looked at that again there are 24 countries that are on reconsider travel and those countries include uh jamaica and what was the other cruise board i saw in there i think it was just jamaica but to to answer richard's question um if you're under a warning and you know a travel advisory or warning can you still go there you know is it still you know are you do you feel safe i mean places like labadee i have always and i we talk about this with our clients all the time because i tell you i think i get that question regularly on a daily basis mm -hmm. um you know but i but the cruise is going to haiti i heard we're not supposed to go there well it's not going to haiti right now no. but you know it was or it's going to the dominican republic and that's the same place you know the same island um, we hear these questions a lot, like, how safe is it? My general answer is the ship is not going to take you someplace that's not safe. So we're talking about how can you how can you be aware and safe when you go to these places? 
but like they shut down cruises right now. They canceled them to Labadee because they are in an abundance of caution. The last thing anybody wants is for anything to, to not be um, safe and secure. Right. So they typically feel that they're safe and secure sure. uh, when they do go there. And if they're not going there, then they'll go somewhere else. And if it's a day at sea, hey, we love sea days. Uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting picked on with pivot tables. And Kevin Brubaker says I need a spreadsheet dance. Um, <laughs> you really do. Spreadsheet dance. I don't know. Is that, is <laughs> no, that like a, I have some ideas. I we'll, we'll, we'll talk. It'll be our next TikTok. Um, <laughs> if you haven't checked out our TikTok, go ahead and do that. And um, Pam's in. Hey, so Pam's Pam. here, and she comes in uh, right with a great comment that you have to watch who you book excursions with and when you go to a high risk country. Very so true. One of my favorite, and, and we queued up a couple of clips here uh, because one of my favorite things is, and you know, we talk about all the time how we don't usually book our excursions through the ship. Now, you book your excursion through the ship, they are going to make sure that they're using a reputable vendor. They're going to make sure that, you know, you're, you're going to someplace safe, that it's someplace they trust. You know, we like to make relationships with a lot of the local vendors, but again, we're, you know, we're, not, we're we, not just calling, you know, Joey off the street and going no, for a ride. A lot know? of the vendors that we use are the vendors that the ship uses as well. We just yeah. don't book it through the ship. Yeah. Um, we, so. we just find it. But one of my favorite things was uh, when we took the kids on the cruise uh, on the Harmony of the Seas and we pulled it to Roatan. It was one of the first times that they had ever been. Was that their first time outside the country or did we stop somewhere else first? Um, first no, time? I think that was the first time that they'd really ever been outside of the country. Mm -hmm. So what we did is uh, we took them on a little bit of a uh, adventure. And just to kind of, and you know, again, so this, this, this was an, is still okay, COVID. Okay, we're, we're going to show you guys a clip um, that we think highlights what we're talking about when we're talking about be aware of your surroundings know where you're going know what the warnings are know what you're doing who you're booking with this is an excursion that we booked that was not with the ship so in order to go to this said excursion or meet meet our party we have to leave the port area we have to go outside of the gates and um meet up with the company who is taking us on our excursion i'm just going to add this is one of the very very best maybe you can just do a full screen one of the very very best excursions that we ever took it was my favorite until recently and now i think it's my second favorite but you can see here we're walking out of the we're walking out of the port here. You can see all the different vendors there. But one of the things that I love right now here is you can see in the background that the local police are monitoring everything that's going on in this entire street. So as soon as I saw them, uh, I knew that this was a, you know, again, if you see what we did, you know, we had the kids in between Julie and I. Um, yeah, that was a great uh, yeah, and then we got, they, they escorted us right to their, their van and we got in, and Katie was ecstatic to go see some sloths. We had a really good day that day. Um, but, you know, as soon as you walk out of those gates, man, you're flooded with the streets mm -hmm. and vendors and people and everybody pulling, you know, wanting to whatever. We did make sure that you were in the front, I was in the back, the kids were sandwiched, we we're close because... That's our abundance of caution. We want to be aware of our surroundings, know what we're doing. Because let's talk about some of the other things. Am I jumping out? I don't want to go. No, keep going because okay. I, I, I'm well, getting caught up here. I'm, I'm talking about like things that you need to be aware of when you're in that crowded type of area. Pickpockets, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, pickpocketing is probably one of the, I think you looked up what the, the, the numbers of them are. But like one of the number one things is, you know, having something lifted from you and you're not aware. The other thing you want to be careful of is have being robbed. I mean, being somebody just coming up to you and saying, okay, give me your stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, on that point, uh, I'm going to put Shana's yeah, comment please. up here. Shana said uh, she tries to research areas so I don't have to be an obvious tourist looking at a map. We also carry limited cash so we don't wear expensive jewelry. I mean, that's one of the biggest things. If you start, you know, if you're going to buy some souvenirs, 
Uh, what I've started doing is I start when we go into port, I now carry uh, a little crossbody bag. I mean, it's just a fanny pack. You, you can make it's, fun of me if you want. It's the 2024 version of the 1980s fanny pack. Right. Really, it's just on the chest. <laughs> so, but I, I mean, I keep it right close to here. Um, in there, I have our 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 passports. Um, I have some identification. Act, well, actually, if it's a place that we can carry mm -hmm. a passport card, we carry the card instead of the passport because it's easier to carry with you. It's just easier to handle. Mm -hmm. uh, a credit card that I know is accepted overseas that I have already talked to the bank and they know that we're going to be in that country. Great point right there. Guys, if you're going to be traveling outside of the country or into it, or even in the country, or your country, whatever, outside of your normal area, let your bank know because they will shut down your card and sometimes deny charges because they think that there could be potential fraud. So if you know you're going to be traveling, let them know that, yes, I am going to be traveling and any, you know, international charges are okay. Uh, so, uh, Will G said, where is this? Uh, that was in Roatan, uh, not the Carnival Cruise Port. Carnival Cruise Port's in Mahogany Bay. Yeah. That's the other cruise port that's a little further away. That's in uh, Coxon Hole. And that is, that opens up right onto the street. <laughs> Can't say there. that without laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that opens up right. I, I mean, I was ne never going to put, after that Vloggers Cruise and everybody started doing that. I mean, before that, I was like, <laughs> oh, it's Coxon Hole. And it didn't no. put two and two together. Didn't even. <laughs> but that's a great port. I, I love did. that port. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that are, are not fans of that, but I know there's some redevelopment going on in that port. If you haven't been on a cruise that goes to Relatan, you want to go on a cruise that goes to Relatan. So Chris Cram has a really good comment here if you want to click on that yeah. one. Um, don't get caught up and let awareness slip. So I have a personal experience that this happened to me. Mm -hmm. um, we I was not traveling with you. No. I was traveling with Autism on the Seas as I was volunteering, and uh, I was with a group of us getting off the ship for a planned excursion. I was with other families. I, we were with um, the people that we were helping and somebody approached me and as we're walking off the ship in the port and it was in Nassau and it was still under construction, but you know, like we're like, like right, right on the dock area, like super close to the ship. So if you like right where you, you make the bend, somebody approaches me and they start asking me very questions about, oh, what is this group? It looks very interesting. Like what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And immediately, like I'm in the zone. So I'm very aware of the surroundings that I was aware of was the people that I was with. My surround, my awareness was not focused on who is this person and why are they asking me these questions? Because I sincerely took it as an interest in what was going on. I was sucked in immediately and very, very thankfully, uh, you know, somebody else that we were traveling with was right away was like, mm, yeah, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> and we just walked right away. And then as soon as we got out of that moment, I was like, oh my goodness, guys, it can happen so quick. Yeah. They know what they're doing. You know, like you just, I, I don't know what else to say other than to be like, oh, you know, now that was, that was in, that was in Nassau, yeah, uh, was in, in Nassau. the old Nassau before they upgraded the port. But I mean, one of the things, you know, so we we're talking about just keeping awareness. And then I saw somebody, oh, Beach Please is here. Hello. Hi, Hello, guys. Mike and Betsy, how are you? Hi. Um, Kevin says, I call out shackle when my kids were smaller and they would get between us. That's, you know what? Uh, hey, code words, key, mm -hmm. key terms, things like that. Fantastic. Uh, mom says, keeping the money in the front pocket. That's a good, that's a good. I keep or, money in two different places too. Like I'll keep like one that. in one pocket, one in another one, or, you know, like whatever. But pockets, again, are not always the best places. I am a fan of either crossbodies. I'm also, I'm a fan of the fanny pack. I'll, I'll bring it back. I don't care. Hey, so like, I, I mean, you saw in that last video, I had the backpack on my back. The kids had their string bags on their back. Their string bags had, um, but they're cinched at the top. So you'd have to take the whole bag. Um, yeah. I suggest if you're using a backpack, don't keep things in the outer pocket that are easy to reach. Like a lot of backpacks now do have like either inner pockets or you can like keep them very like on the bottom, inside, whatever. Things that cannot be easily accessed. But like anything else, a backpack can be lifted as well. Jennifer so. says they keep Chloe between her and Andrew when they're in hold their hand also. I mean, yeah. that was one of those things. We walked out onto that street in Rotan and um, I think that was our, our kids' first experience of seeing, you know, a little yeah, bit of a You were more culture. heightened than I was. I was I was okay. I was comfortable, mm -hmm. but um, but yeah, and, and again, that could be too don't get desensitized, guys, because you're just you just 
so mom has a good point. I start, we started to talk about this before. She said, know where the American embassy is. So I showed on that map before, um, all those, all those countries had a little star in, and that's where those embassies are. And if you fill out that step program, uh, to let them know that you're going to be there, that's giving your information to the embassy that they know you're in country. Now, the other thing yeah. is, is when you're getting off the ship, that daily cruise planner, your cruise compass, your, 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 your fun times, that's going to have information on there about where your cruise uh, security, your port security officer contact information is. You should keep that number handy. And God forbid you have any kind of issues when you're in port. You can call that phone number. You can let them know, hey, this is where I'm at. So this brings you to, you know, do you have a cell phone? Oh, thank, thank you guys. guys. Again, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you so you. much. Peace, much appreciated. Um, but keep that phone with you. I mean, I know a lot of times we like to go on vacation and disconnect and not bring that phone with you. Yeah. Um, but, you know, to have that device with you, make sure you have some kind of plan that can actually connect. Yeah. Um, we, we are the, the carrier that we use has a international plan that doesn't activate unless you actually um, turn on your phone out of airplane mode and whatever in that country, said country. And then it will activate. And we only get charged ten dollars for the entire day then for whatever you know but every every plan usually has some every carrier usually has some sort of plan that can help you if you're internationally traveling so that way you're not hit with mm -hmm. roaming charges that can be astronomical so what else we got bry um, uh they're talking about so the chat is talking about we, we got the the app kind of screwed us up a little bit but uh and pam said barcelona is amazing but the pickpockets are worse than paris and rome so that was a lot of the research that we were doing today a lot of the travel advisories that were coming up were about you know what should we be concerned like about like what we were talking about the levels mm -hmm. like heightened level of concern versus like do not travel what do these even mean and how heightened do i need to be we're talking about what we need to worry about but like especially when these levels are like different so we need to worry about pickpockets. We need to worry. We talked about kidnapping. I mean, kid, kidnapping and pickpocketing are, I feel like they're like here. So let's talk about yeah. what we're concerned about other than other than these two things. Uh, Jason is joining us. Good to see you, sir. We're going to talk to you about getting on one of these groups, right? But uh, he says, good evening from Kentucky. Uh, anytime that I'm traveling, I keep my head on a swivel because, hey, you never know. And yeah. that's that's true. I mean, you can be in any of these ports, and they're all tourist areas. Uh, they're all places where, um, you know, the local economy is dependent upon tourism. So it's not like they're dropping you off in the middle of, uh, you know, someplace that isn't expecting you there and doesn't want to earn your money and earn your business. Uh, but anywhere you go, you know, even we live up in the Northeast, even when we're walking around New York City, it's not like we, you know, walk around with our wallet hanging Super out. Or, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. um, always, always on guard, always just, you know, be aware um, that, oh, exactly. Well, you got to keep your awareness up so in the States. So what about uh, fraud? So, yeah. How concerned are you about fraud when we travel abroad? Um, well, and that's where I'll admit that we all make, we all make mistakes and we all slip up a little bit, right? So when we were on our last cruise without the kids, you know, when we're, when I'm, when we're with the kids, I mean, we're, we're like quadruple. Oh, but this could have happened with the kids. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this one is. <laughs> yeah, Chris, don't, don't look like an easy target. Right. So we were walking around in one of the port and we're talking about in the port. We're not talking about some little, it was the or somewhere. duty free in the port. It was in the port, like the first shop, as you get back to the boat, it was there. And they, you know, we purchased what we were going to purchase, probably some alcohol. I don't know what it was. And uh, it was salt. I remember. I'm sure. Yep. I'm positive. It was salt. I thought it was somewhere else. Anyway, uh, they swiped the card through and they say it's declined. Okay. Why is it, it declined? There's no reason it should be declined. There's, there's no, you know, we checked everything. Everything mm -hmm. should be fine. Um, but in my moment of panic, I'm going, oh, we're getting we're, scammed. Well, no, what we actually thought, it was we thought that maybe the bank wasn't allowing our card to go through because we, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. That has happened to us before and it has legit happened to us before. I think that's where we went, but we didn't we didn't think anything of it. We just thought, okay, our card's not going through. And then, yes, you panic because you're like, I oh see. my gosh, maybe we were already compromised and somebody mm -hmm. drained our bank account. Like, So our solution no, was, don't worry about it. It was $9 salt. I mean... Don't worry about it. We'll pay with cash. Yep. So we pulled out cash and we paid for the thing. And the guy said, here's no problem. And, and we went Back on our merry way. We and when we got home, sure enough, there was a charge on our credit card for exactly the amount that we, 
uh, had purchased the salt for. So yeah. we paid so twice. So we paid twice. So our, char yeah, our card was charged, and I'm pretty sure that person just pocketed our cash. So, so. look, check for receipts. Uh, if something doesn't look right, it's probably and not again, right. This happened in the port. So yeah. for there's a lot of people, and this is a helpful and true tip. If you are uncomfortable, usually staying directly in the port area without going outside of the gated areas is generally a safe uh, place to be. And, you know, but you still have to be aware that these things are happening. You know, the pickpockets can still happen. The uh, the fraud or scamming can still happen. The overcharging can still happen. You know, I know a lot of times if you pay in American currency versus the local currency, you'll be paying more. Um, and we hear that a lot. And um, we've, probably, I know we've experienced that. Uh, Chris says, I feel safety is my responsibility, so I don't drink too much and keep my head up. And, and Great I, point, Chris. We were know. talking about, that's one of our, mm -hmm. what's one of the things we're going to talk about today too, is, is knowing your, um, your limit with your alcohol intake, because the last thing you want to do is have your senses dulled and in a situation where you need to be. You know, you're in, you're in these ports for such a short period of time. Um, Definitely, it's your vacation. Go out, have fun, have a good time, have a blast. Uh, but you know, more than likely, you're going to get a better deal on your uh, on your booze on the, on the ship. So uh, you know, enjoy the port, sightsee, enjoy the beach, enjoy your excursion, and then uh, get yourself all caught up when you get back on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pull up that other video? Or not, not yet. I'm getting ready to oh, do that. Because we just say, talked yeah. about now. So yeah, Chris said that, that that same thing happened to him in the duty free area also. I think, oh, see, well, Chris? Weren't oh. they on bloggers? You guys were on bloggers with us. I think maybe it was the same guy. What, what, did that happen on a cruise that, that you were with us on? Or did that happen on one, another one? I'm curious. We'll have to talk and see if that was the same place. Uh, yeah. So Kevin says, make sure they're charging you the right amount. The biggest gift. We were in, we were in Costa Maya. And we found that, and, and you guys hear us talk about it all the time. We love La Chilling all the way, low inside down in Mahual. It's one of our favorite restaurants in Costa Maya. Yeah. And the first time we went there, um, one of us might have had a lot of tequila. Um, I'm taking responsibility. Yeah, but you're not talking here. about there. You're talking about, no, okay, yeah, well, yeah, no. well, but the server brought out. I just out, don't want to associate the name with anything. The server, it, so. no, 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 no. You love this place, so. But the gonna. server brought out the bill at the end of the day and i nearly lost my mind uh but their bill came out in pesos <laughs> um yeah brian so... was like, Whoa. We're like no 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 yeah. um but that was that was so definitely no, but and also make sure yeah you're getting the, the correct exchange rate for sure so where yeah I thought you were going to go to a video. Oh, yeah. So, NASA. So, let's go back to NASA. So, um, NASA. So, one of the things we talk about is we talk about carrying your documents with you. And, and when you're... So, uh, when you're in the port area, you need your ship card, whether it's a sail on sign, a sea pass, a medallion, whatever it is, you need that to get on and off the ship. They scan it. It shows your picture of your, of your face. Uh, and it also verifies that you are indeed a passenger of that ship. However, if you leave the port area, not only do you need that as well, you also need your identification saying uh, where you're from and who you are. So it has to match either a state issued, something like that, or a government issued, sorry, government issued um, identification, driver's license, something of that sort, uh, or passport or passport card. Mm -hmm. So you have to have those things if you leave the port area. Uh, so, but when you want to get back on the ship, so here, here's a little, so we went to Cabbage Beach in Nassau. Uh, we took a... A taxi over there. Now we've said before, take take an authorized taxi. Um, not one hundred percent sure that this trip was an authorized taxi, but um, <laughs> uh, we got back okay. So we're gonna show this guy here. We're gonna show you know, that well, there. Right before you play, like, you just yeah. said like, hey, you know, guys, we we joke a lot about how we use outside vendors. But we do have some comfort level in going outside and seeing, but we're talking. We're trying to stay true to, especially. To how to stay the safest and for the maybe unseasoned cruiser who or traveler who may not feel as comfortable going outside the best things that you can do um you know so i don't want to confuse anybody by us saying showing and saying one thing and then saying we do another yeah. so this is uh this is getting back to the ship from from nasa
I always carry everybody's two pass cards. Yeah, you don't need vaccine cards anymore. The kids did not need their IDs or anything like that. They just need their C passes. The parents needed to have C pass ID. So that was obviously back. Uh, I actually think that was the day that the person in front of us, I think that was the day the person in front of us had lost. Um, they were, they just were in the port area and they didn't leave the port area. So they did not have their ship card there, uh, but they didn't have their, their, they lost their ship card and couldn't get back on the ship. They were the very first person in front of us. So of course that held us up. This is how I remember this. Um, and I was like, Oh, I've always been curious what happens. Obviously, there is a, a procedure. So if you do lose your ship card, um, they will verify through different means and different ways. Don't lose it. But if you do, don't panic. Go to them and explain the situation, and they will help you figure out how to get back on the ship. That's where it's important. That's especially why you don't want to be a peer runner. <laughs> That's important why it's to keep that information from that daily planner on the ship with the contact mm -hmm. information for the port or your embassy information, they can always help you with that stuff. So uh, Rob and Jan, I'm sorry, Jan has joined us. She said never Rob last week. So it's Jan. <laughs> Hello, Jan. How are you? Uh, Mary Ellen says, I carry the slim sling, a thin crossbody that is close to your body, safer and can be worn under a jacket. Those are the ones that you can fit great under advice. a jacket are, are great. Those are, yeah, great, those are great. Um, So we did want to give some, some tips. We want yeah. to give some. So obviously, number one, so keep posting, you guys post your tips, post your favorite tips. If we've said something that either really stuck out to you, uh, let us know. But uh, let's yeah, let's talk about the, the best ways that we know um, how to stay. Num number one, head on a swivel. Always be aware of your surroundings. Uh, pay attention. You are in a foreign country. Uh, you're on vacation. You're having a good time. But yeah, keep track of the people that are be, with you. You don't want to be like, you don't want to be super anxious. You don't want to have anxiety officers. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not comfortable, Stay on the ship and have a good time or stay in a port in an area that you are comfortable with or do something that's really going to make you comfortable. Definitely remember this is vacation and you shouldn't be having crazy anxiety over this. Stuff. We travel with kids a lot and we do the head count thing. We travel with groups. You'll see us getting a, you'll see us getting a taxi. We're like, one, two, three, four, five. How many we got? We head count. Uh, it's not like uh, a home alone where uh, the kid sticks his head in the van and they count. Our kids, count. Well, it doesn't help that. Kev's name is Kevin because our kids, that's the funniest <laughs> thing to them. They're always like, Kevin. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So number one, where are your surroundings? Uh, yeah. Research, research yes. your port of call. No, we talked about ways that you can sign up for actual um, text messages that can be sent to your phone for the places that you're going to visit months in advance. So like you can be, a, you know, stay on top of this stuff, be aware, but definitely research your ports of call. We always tell people, go watch YouTube, go see it with your own eyes before you get there. If you haven't been there before, because the more, you know, the more prepared you are, uh, you know what to expect um, and watch everything. You know, if you, you can always click through, you could always click off, but click, click, click. Yeah. Watch, yeah. Uh, you know. That's not said for any other reason than just educate yourself. I, I, I mean, I'll give a little plug. I mean, we're on YouTube. Watch YouTube. <laughs> I mean, if you're going someplace that we've been, we probably have a video of it. If we haven't, okay. I'm sure there's somebody that has. I, I don't want to get too derailed a little bit, but when I edit a video, a lot of times, and I mean, some people agree with this and some people don't like it, but a lot of times I leave things in and speed through them because I I think that when I'm watching a video, what I want, I want to be able to see different things. And even though if it, if it's a lot of times it's, just, it's sped up because I think it's something that can maybe come out, but I want people to be able to see it with their own eyes. So then they can then judge, you know, how much of it they want to look at. I don't know. I don't um, want, I, the, to, yeah. totally, like I said, sidetracked of my editing. To, well, totally, why it takes forever. Totally off topic. I saw Beach Please just comment and I thought about, I thought about the old, 
live where I, where I came out and I had the mustache. <laughs> I'm now thinking I got the glasses and the hat. If I was showing up today with the hat, the glasses, and the mustache, everybody would have been like, we're on the wrong channel. Like, <laughs> um, but uh, all right. So next tip, um, traveling groups. And, you know, we always travel in groups. Uh, that's kind of what we do. I mean, we are a group. We're, we're a family of five. We always bring the in-laws with us. Mom and dad are usually with us. Um, so we're, we're always traveling with a group. And, you know, back in November, we traveled with a group of 50 people and we had an excursion planned for well over 30 people to go on one trip. So, you know, you would have been, you would have seen me head count with 30 people to make sure they were all with us. Um, we're coming up in November. We're probably going to organize some kind of uh, group, something group excursion there we'll be counting head counting there what, what do you got oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's upside down i can't resist sorry now it's definitely <laughs> i don't it's it's not even the same channel i just can't um i don't know last time you were super, super chat let's see um, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, I just had a little comic relief for such a serious I, topic. I can't get it off now. Um, <laughs> nobody's going to take me seriously. Um, you think they take you seriously already? No, they don't. Um, <laughs> All right. Was... So fun stuff. <clears throat> um, stick to well traveled areas. Yes. We Our other advice, and we've been asked this a lot about, out. sorry, we've been asked, especially about Jamaica right now. Mm. Um, there's been a lot of questions recently about how safe is Jamaica. And my answer is stick to the tourist places. You know, don't go off the beaten path, stick to something very touristy. Whether you go with um, a ship excursion or on your own, you know. Don't walk around Kingston at night and <laughs> accept a ride or a yeah. substance from somebody you don't know. Um, um, and travel in groups. That, that's yeah. what we were just talking about. Yeah. Traveling, okay. groups. traveling groups. So, Stick with people. You know, like you said, we're going to be, we have that trip coming up in November, November 3rd on the Freedom of the Seas. If you haven't booked it yet, come travel with us, be part of the group, and we will make sure that we headcount you so that you're with us all the time. <laughs> that's right. Um, and if you can't make that one, we do still have the July 2025 joint group cruise with Sharon at Sea Travel on the Carnival Sunrise. Sunrise. I always say the sunshine, it's the sunrise. Um, and you. that, I don't know either. I've never been on it. Um, but anyway, have, I, that's going to be a fun trip. We're going to be a fun trip. people, and we're going to let Jamie count everybody for that one. So we're going to make sure that the head count. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be awesome. July 2025. Yes. Please hit us up, uh, hit Sharon up, and uh, secure your spot because mm -hmm. that is going to be – it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, secure so, secure yeah, your belongings. Secure, yeah, secure your belongings. Uh, make sure – we talked about the cross bodies. We talked about – putting, you know, money in IDs or money in different places or IDs. Um, I actually shared with you that there was some times where I stuck an extra credit card or something in the, in the bottom of my shoe. Uh, so that just so that way, that secure feeling of God forbid something happens or I, even if I lose it, it's not stolen. I have something extra. Yeah. Um, well on that topic too, um, you know, we all travel with a device now. I mean, a lot. We travel with camera gear now. Um, don't just leave it sitting out in the wide open. You know, you can't go sit on Junkanoo Beach in Nassau or Seven Mile Beach and yeah, in, go swim out in the water and, and leave everything in a bag right on your chair. If you come back and it's gone, I mean, it, you're traveling with a bunch of other people on cruise ships. So, you know, be vigilant for yourself. Um, but this is a community. Keep an eye on other people also, you know. We both, one of my favorite things, and I should have grabbed it. It's upstairs, but that's okay. Uh, one of my favorite things that we actually got as a, as a gift was um, it's a it's a fanny pack that's waterproof. Oh, water yeah. bag. A waterproof water bag fanny pack. So it holds a lot is more than. box right there? No? no, it's no. not. It's, I know exactly what it's like. Um, but it's. Like, you know, those uh, waterproof cell phone cases that you slip in the lanyard, go around your neck, you can slip a little money or a credit card in there so people can go out in the pools or the oceans and have that with them. But this is bigger. It's like this big. So you can fit a little bit more. You can probably fit your passports. It is completely and totally sealable, waterproof. Um, and, yes, it's got like a long strap on it. So you could wear it as a crossbody or a fanny pack. Kevin says he will only go on Freedom of the Seas if Brian brings that mustache. Well, Kevin. There we go. <laughs> that, that one looks terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 
not good. That one's just not good. The other one, um, Chris says time he has time to grow back the handlebar. Chris, do I hope I have time to grow a beard like you? Um, because you know on, on retirement. That's that's happening. You're gonna, you're gonna have the old ZZ top beard. Um, my grandfather had a handlebar mustache. Yeah. We were talking about it. Actually, I was talking about it today with my mom because we we're yeah. Uh, I won't put it on the live. We were talking about, but um, yeah, it, I have very fond memories. Of Jan it. says, in a group of six last crews, felt like herding cats. We joked that we should walk into ports holding onto a rope like in kindergarten school outings. Maybe we'll bring that back for November. We'll see. <laughs> we'll we'll see how far. We'll see how far it'll probably going. be confiscated. That was that's one of the things that they confiscate if you get on the ship. They won't let you bring a rope. So, I uh, Pam says she's used to traveling alone, so she has to be vigilant. And yes. uh, Mary Ellen, talking about your 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 fanny pack there, Mary, yeah. Mary Ellen just got a, a five liter drive. Uh, that's, a drive great, that's, a, that's a great purchase. A really good thing to have. Um, how, how about this one? No emergency procedures. So familiarize yourself with your ship's emergency procedures. I mean, guys, I know especially people who have. Uh, cruised who are seasoned cruisers you start to kind of get very lax on those emergency procedures um you know you just walk through the motion of the muster drills or the other things but um it's it's important to make sure that you really are familiarized with what you need to know uh richards and he's bringing the rope for freedom on the seas um i'm not walking through security <laughs> with you i don't want to <laughs> Uh, Jason says Groucho Marx. I love it. Yes, we're, Jason, we're all gonna we're all gonna do mustaches on the November cruise. So, uh, ladies included. So, um, what else you got? Okay, I think this one's super important because this is one that people don't always recognize, and this kind of goes back to the very first thing that I said: research your protocol, research your protocol, and know and respect the local laws and customs. Because I mean, there are places that just as simple as chewing gum mm. is not allowed. There are places where you cannot take pictures in certain places. There are things that you need to know when you're visiting a place that's not yours that you need to, you need to follow their rules. Uh, you need to respect local culture, and and yeah. we definitely that's something you know traveling with kids uh, they are definitely not aware of that, and no. it's something that we it's try to educate. Part them. of why I love traveling with them because I love to teach them that there are different places, different people, and different ways of doing things, and. You know, yeah, we have to we have to respect where we are and how they do things. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, what else you got? Anything else? Um, communication, communicate with ship staff, keep yeah. in touch. <laughs> I mean, um, I think we talked about it a little bit earlier, like letting people know where you are, what you're doing, what your plans are. I mean, it's kind of hard not to do that with the way people are on social media nowadays. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They used to say, don't post on Facebook to let people know when you're going away because somebody's going to rob your house. I always said that if your friends on Facebook are going to rob your house while you're away on vacation, no, are they really your that's friends? actually, but, no, hold on. You hit a really good, important tip there too. Mm -hmm. And that's true, right? So you don't, there's a lot of people that are very hyper aware of, we always have a house sitter. So somebody's always here. So we, we're less concerned. Um, but if you are concerned with letting people know that you're out of town and that you're not home, mm -hmm. um, there's ways of, uh, still definitely letting people know that you're not around. So, um, but yeah, you that, let, that's a good tip too. You definitely want to let the ship staff know. I mean, keep, keep those contact numbers. Uh, let's see, hold on. Jan said, <clears throat> do, 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 do. Jan says before getting off the ship, the carnival hub up has the emergency phone number for each bloke, uh, each port shown uh take a screenshot of it and that that's you know a lot of the cruise lines do that it's that information is there it's in that daily planner it's in that cruise compass it's in that yeah. fun times you know make sure you have those numbers uh when you get off the ship so that way you know who to contact you know we were coming back from from paradise beach in cozumel in the pouring rain um and, and several of you know what i'm talking about and our taxi stopped it stalled out right in the middle of the highway the engine went uh, i don't know what happened and it just stopped and the dude is sitting there trying to restart this thing and we're I probably cry. still you looked at me about a mile from the port maybe like we you know worst case scenario no. we probably could have hoofed it if we had to no we weren't but it close. was pouring rain pouring. it was it was not good anyway so, but um, yes, to have that contact information is a good idea. So heightened areas. I mean, we know that the ships aren't going to Haiti right now. 
So if you're not going there, you don't have to worry. But like places that are a level three right now, you know, level two, do you, what, do you go there? Do, do we advise our clients to go there? What do you think? Um, so this is the thing. <clears throat> if you look at the level fours, obviously nobody's going to the level fours right now because no, you know, well, you the can. I mean, going to take you there. They're, you know, they, they don't want to be responsible. Hold on a minute. They, they will under the right circumstances, but they'll, they'll feel that they're taking you to a place that is destined safe enough to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So you have to make that decision for yourself. And again, research report, research, research, uh, no watch videos, be aware and make that determination. Talk to people. Um, just, I think the number one thing that I would say is don't go outside of your comfort zone. Because what I may be comfortable with might not be what you're comfortable with. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 just follow those same same rules that you know you you would follow at home. You know, stay in well lit well no, stay in well lit areas. Now, if you're traveling on a cruise, <clears throat> most very few um, ports are you going to be there after dark, so that's less of a concern. But you know, don't go walking well, down some... shady alleyways. Don't go walking off by yourself. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't Sometimes you stay overnight in port. There's, a, there's in different places, few. different ports. Yeah. Don't go accepting a ride from you know a non you know when, when you get off the ship in Cozumel and there's the taxi stand there and all of the taxi drivers are in the same uniform. It's a regulated price. You know you can you know travel with them and it's and it's regulated by the government. You know that would, might be a better option uh, than you know. Stepping a few blocks down and trying to find your own, I your own ride. Last week, I, I mentioned um, getting in, like, or uh, being in Cozumel 20 plus years ago, maybe closer to 30. And we went to a beach, and this is this is the funny part that I let, that I didn't say. Um, we had a great time. It was like very empty. There was nobody there. It was just us. But we were traveling in a part. We were a party of like eight, and we were young. And had, you know, had a great time. There was like no vendors. I mean, like literally, like it was like really quiet. It was a quiet, nice beach. But we go to leave and all we see are tables full of like what we appeared to us to be maintenance men. Um, because it was like a almost like a it was a over I remember it being like a pavilion and there's nobody else really there. And all of them are in their jumpsuits and they all have like a liter of vodka. Every one of them sitting at a the table. They're just like on break, like, and they're just drinking vodka straight from the bottle. And we're like, our taxis supposed to? There was, we were told that they were going to be here to bring us back. Man, if every single one of them didn't jump up and try to get us in their cab, <laughs> they were not maintenance men. They were the cab drivers, and um, we got and yeah, every single one. And his, his bottle of vodka sat in the cup holder in the front. So. <laughs> That was again thirty some years ago, um, or twenty some years ago. But but a lot of these countries haven't changed, and you got to be just as aware. That so, was my experience. I hope I hope you've learned something this evening. I hope uh, you're a little safer on your cruise, and most importantly <clears throat> of anything, I hope our phone starts ringing in a few minutes with all you guys wanting to join us on our November and July group cruises. Because yeah, or anything now, else. Now that and you guys, know, that remember, we're keep you safe. We do more than cruises. So if there's anything else you want to do, hit us up because we if definitely you want to go to Ireland. Let us know. I do. <laughs> uh, but next week uh, we will be back. We will have some more fun. We will have some more information. Uh, what are we talking about next week? We don't even know yet. We don't even know until usually the day of. That's not true. But anyway, yeah, we'll be in next week. But the week after is Easter, Easter Sunday. So we will play it by ear. I don't know if we're going to be here on Easter, but uh, we'll definitely be saying hi to you. But thank you all for joining us. Uh, thank you for the for the super chat. Thank you so that much. Was for the so super so kind of you. We do appreciate that. Hearing the support from the community, the support for the channel keeps us going. We love doing it. And uh, until next week, see you on the seas. <laughs>